This is another um, resistor in parallel question. I'm just going to draw it out here. Um, if you have a power supply and you've got two resistors in parallel, and one is 8 ohms, and the other is 4 ohms. And if you're asked to calculate the total resistance, the total current in the circuit, the current in each branch, and the voltage across each branch, and the voltage I should put in is 12 volts. Right, so the first thing, total resistance. So that's a product over the sum 8 times 4 over 8 plus 4. And 8 fours then. Is 32. And you're dividing that by 8 plus 4, which is 12. And that gives you 2.67 ohms. That's your total resistance. Um, so the next thing, the total current. And so you're just going to use V over R. And the V value you're going to use is your total voltage over your total resistance. And that gives you an answer of 4.5 amps this time. Right, the next one then, we're asked for the current in each branch. Now, if you can see four and a half there, um, if, can you see how it's going to split up? This eight ohms here is going to get uh, much less current than the four ohms because eight ohms is a bigger resistance. And it's going to split up in the ratio of eight to four, which is the same as um, uh, two to one. But what we'll do is we'll do it as a calculation, V is equal to IR. So we'll do each branch on its own. So the 8 ohm branch, first of all, um, I is equal to V over R. Because these are in parallel, they're each getting 12 volts from the battery. So it's 12 divided by the resistance 8. And 8 over 12, 12 over 8 gives you 1.5 amps. So obviously the other branch, which is the 4 ohm branch, if there's 1.5 amps being used here, then there must be three left down here. But we'll just check that. I is equal to V over R. This is for the 4 ohm resistor. And that's equal to 12 divided by 4. Um, and that's giving you an answer of 3 amps. So that's correct. And you can see the ratio is right. The ratio should have been 8 to 4, which is um, 2 to 1. But it's the other way around because the 8 ohm resistor actually gets less. So that's a ratio of 1 and a half, and then 2 one, two one and a half gives 3, so that's correct. Last wee bit, the voltage in each branch is very, very easy. Voltage in each branch is just the same as a battery. So the answer to the last one, voltage in each branch, or across each branch, is equal to 12 volts. Now you could pause that, you could rewind that and pause it again. Um, cover up the working out or do the working out yourself and have we go at it. And there's one um, last part and that's just the calculation of electrical power. Electrical power is calculated by multiplying um, current by voltage. And so um, power is equal to current by voltage or P is equal to I times V. Voltage measured in volts, current measured in amps, and power measured in watts. So there's a power calculation. If you have a filament bulb and it has a potential difference of 200 volts across it, so voltage is 200 volts, and a current of 0.2 amps, at what power is the bulb operating at? So P is equal to I times V, which is 0.2 times 200. And the answer is equal to 40. And the, the unit is watts. So you must put in your um, equation, numbers, answer and unit. Last question. 
if you have a filament bulb and it operates at a power of 60 watts and has a potential difference of 240 volts so that's a voltage of 240 volts what is the current running through the bulb? I is equal to P over V which is 60 divided by 240 um, and that's 0.25 amps now we use this very often um, in the calculations for fuse which you've already or which you will meet in the next um, booklet okay thanks very much that's the end of the ohm's law and resistance powerpoints